Since retiring from figure skating, Yuzu Rohanyu has been delighting fans with his performances even more often than in sports. Less than two weeks ago the two-time Olympic champion presented a unique three-hour show gift, where he performed alone. Now the world saw Hanyu's new project, a three-day tour called Note Stellata. The venue for the show was the Miyagi Sekisui Heim Super Arena, with a seating capacity of 7,000. All tickets were sold out a few days before the start, another success for Hanyu. Note Stellata means Starry Night in Italian and the tour itself commemorates the 12th anniversary of the great earthquake that occurred on March 11, 2011. Miyagi Prefecture was one of the hardest hit, with Yuzuru having to evacuate his native Sendai. The stars were beautiful on the day of the earthquake. March 11 was pitch black and starry skies. I felt the light of hope, the skater recalled. The tour is a way to pay tribute to the Tohoku region of Japan, the hardest hit by the natural disaster. The only current skater in the show's cast is Jason Brown. The American is entered for the World Championships 2023, which will be held in two weeks in Saitama, Japan, so in the note Stellata decided not to bother with the demonstration numbers, and once again rolled in the public competitive programs. Brown, of course, lightened the jumping content in order not to get injured on the eve of the main start of the season. On social media, Jason posted a short video from practice and wrote a message to his coaches, Ryan Orser and Tracy Wilson, don't worry. I'm doing a run-through of the free routine between show rehearsals. The world championships are less than two weeks away. Che Lin Burney delighted Japanese viewers. The titled figure skater performed her program in the Spanish style with live music. Violetta Afonsieva was responsible for the original ice performance. She demonstrated not only her skating skills, but also circus tricks with several hoops. A special guest of the tour was three-time Olympic champion in gymnastics Kohei Uchimura. At the end of the first section, the audience saw a joint number between Hanyu and Uchimura. While the figure skater performed on ice, the gymnast performed a combination of floor exercises on a special mat. An unusual collaboration. In the final note Stellata, King Kohei, as he was affectionately known since his sporting career, took to the ice with all the participants. Of course, the gymnast's skill with skates is much worse than with apparatus, so Uchimura was assisted by Satoko Miyahara. Kohei turned out to be so cool that he even performed a small spin paired with Shi Lin. Another interesting story is that before entering the arena you could get a free treat called Black Thunder. Thanks to Uchimura, the suite became popular in Japan. The company signed an official contract with the gymnast only after the end of his career, considering themselves unworthy to be sponsors of the current athlete. Despite the relatively small number of participants, the show was intense. In addition to solo numbers, the skater showed several common numbers choreographed by David Wilson. For one of the exits, the athletes chose the hit BTS, Dynamite, so that even the fans of K-pop was something to watch. March 8 in St. Petersburg was bright and spectacular, Ilya Verbuck and the team of Ice Age. Ice Age Together Again team presented a big show at Jubilee. Star couples of the project Alam Mikiva Ivan Buchan, Victoria Sinitsina Ivan Skobrov, Evgenia Medvedeva Fedor Fedotov, acting athletes of Russian national team Elizaveta Tuktamysheva, Mark Kondratyuk, Mikhail Kolyada, Anastasia Messina Alexander Galiamov and also experienced, titled skaters, Alexei Yagudin, Tatiana Totnonina Maxim Marinin, Maria Petrova Alexei Tikhanov and many others took part in it. The show turned out so vivid that one could give out awards in a variety of categories, Best Premier, Elizaveta Tuktamysheva, The Girl in the Sea. Three days ago, Lisa Tuktamysheva won the bronze of the Grand Prix final, and on Wednesday she took to the ice of Jubilee again, but already with a fresh demonstration number. As the musical accompaniment of the skater chose the song The Girl in the Sea by singer Palmolabi. The famous St. Petersburg athlete conquered the audience with a graceful and feminine skating, performed several favorite axles. It is worth noting Lisa's new costume, 
A turquoise dress with long loose sleeves enhanced the feeling of lightness and freedom, and a floral headband on her head added a springtime tenderness to Tuktamasheva's beautiful nautical image. Best Female Number, Evgenia Medvedeva, Hebla When Evgenia Medvedeva puts on a red dress and takes to the ice, it is simply impossible to remain indifferent. So mesmerizing is the skating of the two-time world champion, that the audience of many thousands followed her every movement silently. Genia performed a triple salcho, and her trademark rotation at the end of the program, for which the fans awarded the athlete with a loud ovation and did not want to let her leave the ice for a long time. The King of Outrage, Alexei Yagudin Olympic champion Alexei Yagudin did not rock in a childish way. Before his first number one, Ilya Verbuk said that Lisha was very nervous and we should support him. Alexei took to the ice with his sway program which the audience loved. What the athlete did, dancing on the spectator's stand, undressed, somersaulted, did push-ups. The audience was delighted, but a Verbuk said that Alexei Konstantinovich needs to work on the triple loop. A small joking quarrel broke out between the skater and the director, Yagudin did not like the way a Verbuk called him, noting that Ilya should not talk about his excitement, to which the choreographer replied, Do not worry, we love you now. This irony on the subject of age began even before the show, during the press walks. When Ilya Verbuk was giving an interview, Yagudin stealthily approached the journalists from behind and, interrupting Ilya, loudly asked, Excuse me, aren't you going to rejuvenate the cast of the show? How much is enough, hero of the day, Alexei Mishin? Alexei Nikolaevich's students were doubly excited to skate, because there was not just a coach, but also the birthday boy sitting on the podium. On the 8th of March Alexei Nikolaevich Mishin turned 82 years old. Many beautiful congratulations were sounded to his address in his native Yubilini, and Mikhail Kolyada even gave Professor a bouquet of flowers during the number. Mishin and his grandson were at the skating rink again on his birthday. It could not be otherwise, figure skating is the great coach's whole life, his element, his vocation. A lot of things come and go, and people like Alexei Nikolaevich Mishin, Tamara Nikolaevna Moskvina, Tatyana Anatolyevna Tarasova are the Atlants who hold it together. This is what our sport is still based on, said Alexei Yagudin in his congratulations.